We're back! Episode 2 of the Map Minute with Mike. Today I just want to talk about uh, filtering our selections. So I'm on the Amherst Maps page on amherstma.gov and I've already started a search. I've searched for properties on Boltwood Avenue and let's take a look at the Lord Jeff. It's the Lord Jeffrey Inn right in the center of town. And first thing I'm going to do is I want to look at a larger area. So one way we can do that is uh, we can just put in a different scale. I'll type in 200, so one inch equals 200 feet. I'll hit enter. And now we're looking at a larger area, including the town common, some of the commercial buildings in Amherst Center, and so forth. And one thing I can do to quickly get a large set of selected features is I can click on this Select All and View button. So I click that, and anything on the map uh, that is in the layer that we have set, which is the parcels in this case, will get selected. So that selected everything. But let's say we want to narrow down that selection to fit a certain criteria. We have what are called filters. So the default filter is Show All, but if we hit the drop-down list, you'll see for the parcels we have a a nearly unlimited list of filters here. Well, that's an exaggeration, but yeah, we have we have a large list of filters. Uh, one thing that we can take a look at is okay, if we're looking at Amherst Center, which one of which ones of these are residential? So, click on residential, and now we can see everything else is grayed out, and all that we have are the residential ones. Some of these do have commercial units in them, but all of these are ones that have uh, residential units in them. Uh, and so now we've narrowed it down. Uh, and that's an example of using a filter. I thank you very much. Thanks for tuning in.